Right now is what photographers call the magic hour. And that's because it has all the magic ingredients. Just spotted some great light bouncing off one of the skyscrapers. Now exposure is simply the brightness level or the darkness level of your image. I'm gonna try and put together a series of stitched images. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you some simple step-by-step -step techniques to getting a good landscape image. What did you get? I'm quite pleased with this image here. Oh wow, that's superb. Here we go, we're just going to get the sun just right now. Okay, we've got a crazy one today for you. We've got our lovely model, Sophie, about to get splattered in paint. Yes! Yes! Yes, yes! It almost looks like a cape. I'm using the elements of this metalwork and the corner piece coming into the right hand side of my shop and then this silver wall. I'm going to uh, capture some very long exposures. Look at that, that is fantastic. I've got an Ellen Crom light and I've got an 80mm lens on the Hasselblad. We're going to do this really sexy lingerie shoot today. All the conditions are starting to come together. We've got great light on the water. Cameras come in different amounts of pixels. Now a megapixel means one million pixels. I'm going to run some shutter speeds in the region of about four, six seconds. Here we are at Montparnasse Tower, the perfect place to get a panoramic view of the city. Come on, come on, come on, here we go. 0.8 of a second, f4.5 at 200 ISO. That's how straightforward and simple it is to get a shot like that. I've just spotted another great shot looking back the other way. It looks like the lights have just come on on the Arc de Triomphe. Gone with a tighter crop to concentrate on the architectural detail of the old Louvre Museum against the contrast of these new glass pyramids. Look at this amazing location. I'm going to actually paint with light. What I'm doing here is called remote capture. The macro mode will allow us to get in close, get us some really close up sections. This is the perfect scenario. We've got this lovely field of grass and we've got this backlighting. <laughs> we're using flash in the daytime. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna build a set. Two, three. Uh hoping for a really exciting shot with the model being knocked back through the air. Okay. <laughs> That's it, great. That's exactly what we want. It's the best time to use flash is in the daylight. And when you shoot into the light and you've got the shadow side, that's the side you fill in with flash. This is the Zacuto DSLR rig. Okay, what we're looking at here is setting up the motion time-lapse rig. 